Very exciting time for EastEnders. New producer coming in, Christmas around the corner. Always a big time in Walford. So is it an exciting place to be right now? I think it's exciting. It's an exciting place because we've, we've had a meeting with Kate recently and she's very, obviously, to come from the show she's come from at her age to be running, to have run three of the biggest shows in soap opera history, it speaks for itself. It's a great accolade. So she, we're all kind of excited, like, what's Kate going to bring? And I think it's, it's a good time for EastEnders at the moment. We're all kind of on that crest of the wave now. Um, EastEnders fans always look forward to the Christmas story ends. Is there anything you can give away on what they might have to look forward to this year? Is it a dark one, a light one? I think there's, a, there's a returnee. I can tell you there's a returnee uh, which will feature heavenly in the storyline because it is that storyline is why that person's coming back. Um, and the thing, about, the thing about EastEnders at Christmas is it never goes right. So I think why change the habit of a lifetime? I think it won't go right. What's funny is I think there's there's something like maybe 16, 17, 18 people at the Slaters at Christmas. I don't think you can get as many people in their kitchen. So that's going to be interesting to see. But it's, it's a great, it's a great show at the moment. And, we've, and Christmas is always good for his dinners. And um, obviously let's talk about Robbie's love life because uh, since Donna went, he's been a bit of a lone puppy. Would you like to see him find romance again? Or do you quite like him being quite single down and out? That's a very good question to be fair because I feel like the stuff he did with Lisa Donna, it's been great. I mean, I was pleased to do that. And I think Robbie works best when, when he's not, he doesn't wear the trousers in a relationship. I think Robbie's one of them characters that will always be, be bossed around. It just, it is what it is. And I don't mind that. I think it's good to play that kind of character. Uh, and certainly in his relationship with Donna, she ruled the roost. And then we've got a recent storyline where Robbie gets his end away yeah. with a cougar yeah. in the Vic toilets. And that was fun to do. Uh, and I feel, I, remember, I always remember Patsy Palmer saying to me, what Robbie needs is to come back into the show and walk through that door and walk onto the square with this bombshell, like where people all turn their heads going, how did Robbie get her? And it's just like, you've just got this absolute Amazonian stunning <laughs> bombshell come through. And just like, how did Robbie get this six foot, you know? And it'd be nice to do something like that, yeah. to turn heads. It could happen. Yeah. Never seen Pitch it to Kate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah.